When you first install CorelDRAW, there's a couple of things that we need to change in terms of defaults to make CorelDRAW work better with our laser machine. The first thing that we need to change is Corel by default is working in CMYK. To work properly with the laser machine, our color space needs to be RGB. If I go up to Tools, Document Settings, you'll notice that my primary color mode is CMYK. This doesn't work because all our output uh, palettes are going to be in, in CMYK and our laser machine won't, won't work with the colors properly, especially when we want to do cutting or we want to do raster fills. To make this a default, go to Tools, Color Management, Default Settings, turn your primary color mode to RGB. Our color engine is going to be None. Uncheck Map Gray to CMYK Black. And normally I make the lab values RGB values. Once you're done this, if I, if I click on OK, then our default color space when it's created is now going to be RGB. If I shut this file, if this uh, drawing down and I do a new document, you'll notice now if I go to the color management document settings, I've got RGB. My color palette is RGB and you'll notice that my black default setting for any, any vector line that I draw, again, is going to be RGB. The next setting that I like to change is to make my vector lines red and also hairline. Typically, black is used for raster engraving, and normally we like to use red for vector engraving. To have the laser machine recognize a vector line to cut, it needs to be hairline in Corel Draw. If you go up to Tools, and then we go over to Window, Dockers, and we come down here to our Style, Object Styles, and we expand out on our default object properties, and we select Graphic. I'm going to change my color to red. And I'm going to change my line width, in this case, inches, and hairline. Now anytime I draw a rectangle, my line is going to pick up these attributes. However, I'd like to save this as a default. I can do this by clicking on the Import, Export, Save Defaults, and I'm going to set as New Document Defaults. I want this to be a default object property, I'm going to say OK. So now, whenever I create an actual vector line, it's going to be red, RGB, and it's going to be hairline. And if I come in and draw a circle, you'll notice that it's red. One other thing I like to change in this, in this document is also to take my artistic text, and I like to make maybe change the font to a different font if I want. But I also like to change the, the justification to center. I don't like to have none, uh, no horizontal alignment, because a lot of times if I'm doing multiples and I'm changing text, I want text to, to expand left equally with the right. If I have this in, uh, no, in, in no horizontal, it'll just move in one direction as opposed to both. So again, we're going to select center justified. And I'm going to come up here again to my def set as document defaults. It's going to be document object properties. Say OK. Now when I type in text, you notice that my text is center justified. One other thing that we need to change for the Trotec laser is Trotec lasers will recognize Bezier curves for smoother engraving on a Corel Draw. And to be able to change that, it's quite easy. I'm going to go to Tools, I'm going to go to Options, I'm going to go to Global, come down here to Printing, Expand Out, Driver Compatibility, and we need to have this check Send Bezier 
and pass to driver. Again, sometimes if you update your software in terms of a, maybe on, on X8, you go to, you get a, a service pack, this will become unchecked, so make sure you go in and check this every time you do an update. A couple of other defaults that you may want to set up. For a lot of people, sometimes CrawlDraw will install in metric and they want to work in inches or vice versa. Maybe it'll install in inches, they want to work in metric. That's quite easy to do. Just make sure that everything is deselected. When it's deselected, you know, the property bar will turn uh, um, in showing the unit of measurement. Again, I can click the down arrow here, click inches and that will change all my values in Corel to inches. So I want to go to millimeters, let's go to millimeters, <clears throat> or if I want to go, I can come back to inches. One of the other things that people like to do is maybe they want to show Corel Draw uh, in terms of our fonts to not be in points, but to be in inches. That's quite easy to do. Go to tools, options, and then come into our workspace setting under text. Again, our default text units can go from points to inches. Now when I type in, you'll notice now that my value is in inches as opposed to points. Again, there's lots of things that we can change in terms of defaults in Corel Draw. Like as I mentioned, we could have a different font coming up, we could have the font be bold all the time, we have underline, we could have a certain size character come up all the time. Again, there's lots of things that can be changed in Corel Draw in terms of defaults. So explore through the tools options or the object styles and you should find a lot of different values to be able to change to make them default if you want.